Hi, this is Vic. Let's connect some bill of materials together to create a multi-level bomb. Let's start with some bill of materials I've already created. Let's start with the header controller bill of material. And this is one I've already created. I've added just a few properties here. I'm also going to now uh, set or assign a parts catalog to this. Uh, let me go ahead and show you. This is a, a controller inventory uh, that I've created earlier uh, and is in within uh, uh, OpenBomb. Now, uh, you know, it has all the regular things that I would expect in this particular uh, uh, inventory. And now I'm going to assign the controller inventory and I'm also going to assign another one. This is just uh, some 3D parts uh, catalog that I have. This is uh, one that I created earlier as well. And uh, you see 3D parts, I've created this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna to go to the uh, header uh, and I'm going to, now that I've assigned this, I'm going to configure uh, some properties that I want to include as part of this bill of material. So I'm going to go ahead and say, uh, pick properties, these particular properties from uh, these parts catalog and they're brought in automatically. Now, what I'm going to do next is the same thing to another bill of materials. You may have noticed, now I have the header assembly. I'm going to bring this uh, into this bill of material. I'm going to have brought in the same uh, catalogs. I've already done that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, and this is where the magic happens. I'm going to create a uh, bomb and I'm going to give it a part number, uh, ZA100 uh, in this case. You'll notice that uh, Open Bomb uh, is able to also find other part numbers that I've used before. And I'm going to name it. Now that I've uh, named it and assigned the part number to it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a few uh, properties to this. And what I'm going to do, and I'll explain it while I'm, while I'm doing this, is what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in the part numbers of those two bill of materials, the controller and the header uh, assembly uh, as well. So let's uh, start here and notice what happens. I'm going to bring the header and open bum automatically picks, keeps track of, if you will, by connecting the part number. Uh, so I'm just going to an assembly because it's a bill of material. So what I'm doing now is I'm stitching together a, uh, a, a bomb that is composed of other bill of materials. Okay, so here's the uh, controller, uh, the part number for the controller, which is the one for the bomb. I'm going to, it's also an assembly. Now, once I've done this, I'm going to go ahead and assign uh, the same catalogs I have in, in the past, the 3D parts catalog and the controller uh, catalog. And I'm also going to configure uh, the properties I'd like uh, to, uh, to appear. So I'm, I'm choosing the two catalogs that I've uh, already assigned and I'm going to uh, pick the same properties I have in the past and uh, here they are. Now, one more thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a non-geometric uh, uh, item, or just, uh, in this case, labels. This is from the part catalog, automatically uh, tells me these, these are the parts that are available. Uh, this is going to be a material type. Uh, and you'll notice that it uh, picked up the values I wanted, the unit cost, status, and uh, manufacture directly from the assigned part catalog uh, that I had. This was part of that. Now, if I go back, to the, uh, uh, the to the dashboard, I now uh, go into the multi-level bomb view, and you see that now what uh, Open Bomb has done is it's uh, basically created a multi-level bomb by stitching the other bill of materials together in there. So you see that now uh, these two bill of materials are part of this uh, bill of material, this multi-level bomb view, uh, and um, you see that it gathered all the information as well from the various parts catalogs. Now let's uh, shift gears and let's create a multi-level bomb from a CAD because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a bill of material that is already a multi-level bill of materials. And once that's done, I'm going to now assign or add to it the bill of material, that multi-level bomb I just created. So here's, here's the bill of material that was just extracted from the SOLIDWORKS model. Now what I'm going to, going to go ahead and do is I'm also going to now, uh, see there's the assembly right now, uh, the sub-assembly, 
And what I'm uh, going to do is I'm going to go ahead and assign to this uh, bill of material the uh, Z-axis assembly or the ZA100. You notice that I had given it a part. Now remember the Z-axis also was composed of the other two uh, bombs. Now I'm going to set the catalogs to it because I want, before I assign it, I'd like to go ahead and make sure that I've got the assigned, uh, the properly assigned parts catalog and the uh, properties I'd like to bring in, which again are the same as I've been bringing in before. So once I've done that, I apply it, you see it brings in all the information I might have already in the parts catalog. And now I'm going to add what I mentioned before. Now I'm going to add the ZA100, which is the part number of the multi-level bomb that I had created. So you see what's happening here. I'm starting to stitch together. I can add and create multi-level bombs with open bomb as easy as just including the part number. Okay. So once I do that, you'll notice that automatically when I click uh, to go and view the sublevels, it automatically shows me the sublevels that I had already shown you before, but now they're within the uh, bomb from the uh, SolidWorks uh, model. And you see that now I can go and even go into the sublevels uh, as well. So what I've done now is I've stitched together a multi-level bomb from various bill of materials by connecting them with the part number. If you'd like to learn more, visit www.openbomb.com.